I can see myself in the plate. I'm Melanie O'Brien. And I'm Sean O'Brien. And, and we're, we're America's, America's cheapest, cheapest family. family. Making it rain. In the summertime, when the kids are playing outside in the pool, we can utilize that afterwards to, to help clean our dishes. We save money on the water bill. We save money on the electric bill. Are we going to become millionaires off of it? Not per se, but it's, it's going to help us to be able to allocate that money towards a, a better purpose. See? Fun and work. Who wants bacon? I do. I do. Sean and I agree that if we don't have to buy anything new, then we won't and we'll make use with what we have. That's our lifestyle, that's our way. Our pets and pans broke, the handles broke off, and instead of going out and buying brand new pots and pans, Sean made this wrench that doubles as a handle, and the duct tape protects my hands from burning. All right, kids, bacon's ready. It's been more than 10 years since Sean and Melanie have made any significant improvements to their home. A sacrifice they claim has saved them over $30,000. This is where we spend most of our time, in the living room. Um, as you can see, we've got very sparse furniture. Living room furniture can cost up to ten, twenty thousand dollars $20,000, depending on what kind you're buying. Um, ours costs maybe 50 bucks. A few months ago, our shower head broke, and Sean came up with a great way to fix it. For the price of a soda bottle, he rigged it up to the shower head and just poked holes in there. And now we have a brand new shower head. This kind of is an eyesore, but it works and I appreciate it. Some people might think our behavior is over the top, but... Extreme. Or extreme, yeah. but I think it all depends on the person's perspective. No, we weren't done For the past several years, the O'Briens have contemplated moving into a larger space but selling their current home would require them to make renovations they've avoided for the past decade. Our realtor is gonna come over and give us an assessment and evaluate what we need to do before we actually put our house on the market. Oh, here's the yard. Okay. Um, oh, watch your step, apparently. Yeah. Our fence is a little piecemealed together. So I just replace the boards as they come. Leans a little, but it's sturdy. You're gonna have to Repaint the fence. I mean, if not replaced. Ooh, it's, uh, how much is we looking to replace? Around 1800 bucks. The fence in the backyard is definitely eclectic. The colors look like a marble cake that you would get at a bakery. It brings character to the neighborhood. And the kickboard at the bottom, that's probably holding the whole fence together. It's not even in the right place. It needs to be a little bit closer to the bottom. I'm not adverse to making some changes, uh, but everything has to be taken consideration with budgets and cost. This is our uh, main living room. Hmm. Well, number one, no furniture. This won't work. You've got to stage this room. Stage how? Well, I mean, a bean bag, an ottoman. I mean, you've got to have furniture here, period. The actual living room in a house is very important because that's where the majority of all the family time happens. They didn't even have a TV or any furniture at all. I've seen houses online that don't have any furniture. But those are new. Not always. The majority of them are new. Well, I'll tell you this too. I mean, none of these homes that are selling has carpet like this. The stains, the burn marks. I, I honestly don't feel like a buyer would even put an offer in with carpet like this. OK. I mean, that's got to be changed. I gave the O'Briens the best professional advice I could give them, but honestly, I don't think they're going to take it. We would love to replace the carpet completely. We don't want to spend a whole lot of money on the upgrade, but we really want to sell the house. We're very motivated to sell. Joe, Sean O'Brien. Good to meet you, sir. Hey, Joe. This is my I'm wife, Melanie. Melanie. Good nice to meet you, to meet Melanie. You. So looking at 1,000 square feet, uh, in something like this piece of carpet here, we'd probably be looking at about a $4,000 budget. What literally is the cheapest that you could help me out with? 
We could get into some carpet uh, in this range here. It's a little, a little more cost-effective system. And we would be looking at a budget closer to around $1,800 to $2,000. I mean, all right, so what I'm really just kind of looking for, um, I say I just want to do sections, uh, you know, a, a burnt stain here, maybe some wax on the floor there type of thing. Some red um, wine there. Yeah. Is it unheard of to patch up carpet? <laughs> I mean, I is gotta it unheard tell you, of? It really is unheard of. I, I've never heard such thing. I definitely don't want it to be horrific, but is there a way to get something like this? Literally that? Yeah. Size and that? Yeah, maybe, I, maybe about 10 would be good. I, sure, that would definitely be a first. We can take a look. Okay. Let, let's take a look and see what we can work out, sure. You know, we've seen all types of customers over the years in our business. I've never had anyone ask me for samples. All right, here's our sample room. You guys can take a look around, see if you find anything you think will work. I want to find something that matches as best as possible. What do you think? Same? Um, yeah, that one on top's better. See if you can find more like that. All right, I got jackpots. I think we're getting close, Jim. I think you got it, huh? Okay, actually, let's see. I'm thinking more this, this, that. This one. That one. I think this is going to be the closest we'll be able to make it match. So, Joe, uh, what do you think on uh, us purchase this? Uh, guys, I don't know. How about, uh, how about 20? We'll do twenty dollars. Okay, I appreciate it. Thank you. All right. <laughs> do you have a bag we could put it in? The hell of a day for a carpet man today. Sean and Melanie were advised to replace the carpeting and refurnish their living room before showing their home. Hey! hey. hey. With the help of their neighbor, they're hoping to stage the area for free. Can I the no, no. Um, I just we uh, we had a quick favor we wanted to ask of you. Could we? Borrow your furniture for the open house. You know how our living room looks now. And okay. you're so close by, and you've got such great furniture. We'd just really love to use yours, if you don't mind. OK, like, what are you thinking? Um, yeah, I was thinking the couch, the nice coffee table. All right. All right, all right. Oh, I'm trusting in you. Thank you. OK, um, oh my god, Mark's going to kill me. You got it. Oh, Lordy. A little more to your left. Got it. Can you stop for a minute? Of course. Oh. Go at your pace. One, two, three. Rather than hire professionals to replace their entire carpet, Sean tacks down their $2 samples himself. All right. Honey! Well, it looks pretty, like, much even, but the carpet is totally different color. It's I mean, you did, I a great, like... you did a great job, but it just doesn't match. Right. We knew it wasn't going to 100% match. We are so house. excited now that we've made these changes. It's good. Center it. Center it with the couch. Perfect. And we cannot wait for people to come in and see our house. Honey, is this straight? Yes. I think it's going to be great. I'm excited about our opening. What the five. To avoid the realtor fees, Sean and Melanie placed an ad online and are attempting to host the open house themselves. When we first walked in, I noticed little details. The carpet was patched. Yeah, like a quilt. Different types, like a quilt. <laughs> different types yeah. of carpet. So if those are the things that are showing, what, yeah. what are we not seeing? Look at that. The handle's handle. broke. People who are different are always going to be called weird because I do it in a different way than somebody else. You're going to do this every time you go to the bathroom? The good news is we're in Texas and Dallas. We're in a good market. There's going to be somebody out there that's going to look at it and say, I like it. Yeah, nice to meet you guys. Time. Have a great night. I think the happiness lasts longer when you know that you've really tried to save and spend your money well in a quality way. We appreciate it, but we're going to keep looking. The newer something is, the quicker it gets old. It's true.